In today's tutorial, I will show you how to set up branch protection rules for your GitHub repos. To get started, open up your GitHub repo. If you don't have any branch protection rules set up, you should probably see a message similar to this letting you know that your main branch isn't protected. To set up branch protection, click on settings. On the left hand side, click on branches. Click here to add branch protection rule. For the first input, we need to apply a branch name pattern that will apply to all branches. For example, if we wanted to apply this rule to all branches that have the word release in them, we could just type in something similar to this. If you go to this link here, you can read more about how to specify a branch pattern name and how to get it to apply for all the branches that you want to apply the rule for. Going back to the previous page, I'm just going to change this to main so that it applies only to the main branch for right now, just for the sake of this tutorial. Looking down here, we can see all the different options that we can apply for the branch. If we enable this first option, this will require that a pull request must be made before any code changes can be merged into the branch that we're trying to protect. If we enable this option, some other options will now appear. If we check this box, that means we must get approval from somebody else before we can merge the code into the protected branch. We can also specify the number of required approvals before we merge the code. So right now it's one, but you can set it as high as six if you would like. For the next option, if we enable this rule, that just means once a pull request gets approved, but more code is added to the pull request, we would just have to get approval again. These are just some of the rules to consider when deciding to enable branch protection or not. One last really important rule to consider is this one down here that allows administrators or custom roles to bypass these branch protections. If you enable this rule, that means even administrators and custom roles will not be able to bypass these branch protections. So just make sure you think about that before enabling this option. Once you're satisfied with all the roles, just scroll down all the way to the bottom and hit create. It will prompt you for your password, so just type in your password and hit confirm. And now you should see a message letting you know that the branch protection rule was successfully created. So based on the rules that I applied to my branch, anytime I want to make changes now, I will need to make a pull request and I'll have to get at least one approval before I can merge the code into the main branch. That is the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please like the video and subscribe for more content.